Hi, my name is Paul, and today we're dealing with a question involving circular motion, or centripetal acceleration, where we have also simulated gravity in spacecraft. Now, in this case, I'm using an example from a very great movie that I encourage you to watch. It's called The Martian. And in that film, we have a spacecraft, a very large spacecraft, that is called the Hermes. And the Hermes has a ring that spins that allows the astronauts to experience a simulated gravity. And in this question, we're trying to work out what is the diameter of that ring given some certain constraints. Now, in this question, we're given a couple of constraints and that's provided. And we're told, first of all, that the rate of turn is equal to 0.66 radians per second. So that's the angular velocity. The other thing we want to know is the acceleration due to gravity that they experience. And from the book, it's actually given. And so the acceleration, at least on the Hermes, is equal to 0.4 of the acceleration due to gravity that is on Earth. So it's not actually 9.8 meters per second, it's only 40% of that. And in fact, that's all the information we need to solve this problem. And how do we solve this? Well, we start off by saying that mv squared over r, the centripetal force, which is also to equal to m omega squared r, because the relationship between v and omega is that v equals omega r, is equal to the normal force or the simulated weight force that they are experiencing. Now you can see now straight away that we have two m's and both of them can be cancelled out. So we'll cancel out the m's. So now what we end up having is g is equal to omega squared r. Now we've got omega and we've got g and we have to work out r, right? So all of now I need to do is say r is equal to g over omega squared. This g value of course is what we're after. So it's actually 0.4 multiplied by my 9.8, which is the acceleration due to gravity on Earth's surface, divided by my 0.66, and of course this is all squared, and that means I get a value of 9 meters. Now of course that's the radius, and so my diameter, in this case, is going to be twice that, it's going to be equal to 18 meters. So I hope that has given you a little bit of insight on how to work out a question involving circular motion, in this case, from the movie The Martian, and I encourage you to watch it. Take care. Bye for now.